Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. This is the dynamic section in 3ds Max. In this chapter, we are going to learn how to create a curtain in 3ds Max to cloth modifier. So first of all, I'll just uh, create a plane. And from the modify disk, oh, sorry, modify panel, I'll just increase the segments. Uh, just make it uh, 30 and say 30. Just like that, fine. Because that's very important to increase your segments, otherwise the simulation won't work properly. It's very important. Move to the modify list and put cloth object. That's it. And go to the cloth property, select the plane from the list and make it a cloth object. And you can use a preset, uh, you can use satin or anything you want. Press OK. That's it. Okay, so now uh, our uh, cloth object has been created. Now I'll create one single box which will actually hold the uh, cloth for some reason because, uh, oops, over to the front. Okay, because uh, this will, uh, you know, uh, help us to shape my uh, my carton, uh, to give shape my carton according to my, my requirement. So change the modify uh, to change the viewport to shaded view. Okay. Select the cloth. The modify panel. What the group? Now make group. Just uh, uh, first select the top vertex of the cloth object that I have already defined and create a make group. New group and I just name it top. Uh, fine okay so you can see this uh, uh, unassigned top group has been created now I'll move on to the node option I'll just uh, select the uh, the box object that I've created remove the grids and click and now you can see that node has been that group has been connected with the node and that means these vertex are at actually attached with this particular uh, you know uh, cloth sorry the box so uh, this if I uh, go to simulate the locals and now as it's the simulation has been already started if I select the, this box and if I scale it up down now you can see the wrinkles are coming out because I, I have connected those top vertexes with the uh, with this uh, box node and that's how we can uh, create a very uh, you know uh, uh, desired results of of our of our requirement from from this uh, from this uh, uh, option. So uh, this is very important because uh, this this is how it works. You can uh, you can manipulate this by scaling it down or you know. Um, uh, scaling, scaling it up uh, to increase the size of your, you know, the the length, and uh, so just stop the simulation, and I'll just uh, make a more design of from it. So for that, uh, I'll create another box which will be on the on the middle side. So ju I just uh, duplicate the top box and put it in the middle, and just copy it. Fine again. I go to the cloth and group, and the similar way that I've already uh, worked before. I just uh, select the uh, two rows of uh, vertices and make it a group, new group, say middle. Okay, so that has been assigned to the box zero two node. Oh, sorry, uh, would be assigned to the box zero two node. Select this, and that's it. It's, it's been node has been connected. So now I'll move on to again the simulation, and like this, you can uh, you can really manipulate the cloth, and that will uh, work as exactly as you want. And you can see uh, this is uh, really uh, really easy to manipulate uh, and create some some desired uh, you know uh, designs from from the um, from the very basic uh, you know, cloth modifier in 3ds Max. You don't have to uh, use any kind of uh, plugins or something. So 
for your architectural walkthroughs and or maybe stills or any any anything you you really want to uh, create uh, like this so <clears throat> uh, that's it so that's how we can uh, manipulate the uh, the middle part of of of, uh, of our carton and if you want to adjust your other uh, cloth option you can do like uh, you know the switch off the simulation and move on to the uh, simulating part which is uh, for intersecting and that's it for self uh, collision and the intersecting checking part you can switch on that those options and again uh, you can see this uh, uh, self uh, extracting parts are are really you know going out and now there is no no self uh, collision has been on so the um, the cloth objects are not intersecting each other I can uh, rotate this uh, shape and uh, we can really uh, really uh, uh, you know give our uh, desired shape according to our designs so that will be very helpful to us our designers to to create a very easy uh, cloth object or carton in inside your scene so you can just uh, play it with uh, the scale values of that particular box and you can change your uh, desired uh, design so for to fix it uh, just uh, convert this to a uh, editable poly so that uh, the object has been fixed and you can just duplicate this and mirror it to create the other half of your you know the carton so that's how you can uh, easily you know uh, create your uh, carton design of your own and you just uh, put that uh, uh, the buckle over there okay for uh, revision uh, just uh, quickly I'm just uh, going to going through all the steps that I have already created for for creation of this kind of uh, designs just uh, move on to the uh, front viewport and create another plane to create the the top uh, designs here there let's create another plane and just uh, change the number of vertex according to your size of the plane let's reduce it into 20 and make it 41 fine so <clears throat> This will be the uh, the top design which uh, I'm going to create through the cloth modifier again, and just uh, uh, put the cloth property selected and convert it to cloth, and you can use any kind of presets. Uh, you can use silk, okay. And right now I'm going to use uh, to create the same groups that I have already created for the curtain for that group or node we have, we are going to create small boxes around the top of the cloth object like this and I just duplicate this into into oops isolation mode okay now select these boxes and just duplicate this according to the distance you want and make it a number four and make another one over there press ok so I, you already know that why I've created these boxes because this will create acting as, as nodes so create the groups right now so move the group select the vertex make group and connect to the node and select the boxes again do the same uh, for the next part select the vertex create a group and attach to a node this you can see the, from the list again oops uh, select the next series of vertex Make group 
and also connect them to the node the connecting node is very important because these are the uh, nodes which is actually controlling the vertex so this will hold up uh, the cloth in these areas sit connect to the node thing and the rest the last piece <clears throat> so that's it uh, I have already all attached the uh, nodes that are required and now you can simulate this cool now you can see the four links are coming out uh, for the for my uh, for my uh, you know the yes so that's how we can squeeze up the scale value of the boxes and we can have our our desired result for the for the cloth or for the curtains so that's how we can uh, create our own design own own ways of design and custom customize fully customized designs uh, throughout the uh, creation so uh, this is the way you can uh, create on this uh, carton and uh, select this and uh, just uh, switch off the simulation just duplicate this oops uh, the cloth will not work sorry uh, just delete this select and convert it to editable poly so that the uh, oops, uh, like that and just uh, deselect those uh, boxes or just select those boxes for uh, designs and just delete them and you can put that uh, as a design just on the top of the uh, carton so that's how we can uh, create the carton i hope you enjoy this and please like us on facebook and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you very much and hope you enjoy this